Now let's look at Unit 3, Blue Jeans. I'm going to read the text. Please read along with me in your mind. Okay? Now let's move on to past tense. We're on page 67. Study this table that gives the various forms of the past tense, their uses and examples. Simple past. It's used to talk about events at a definite time in the past with no relevance to the present. A word indicate the past, indicating the past time is used. For example, yesterday, the last week in 1998, etc. Note, when the past events have relevance at the moment, present perfect is used. For example, I have seen that movie twice. That means... I don't want to watch it now. For example, you have an example of simple past. I went to a movie yesterday. To form simple past, we add ed to a verb in case of regular verbs. For example, clean changes to cleaned. Irregular verbs have different forms. For example, sing changes to sang. Simple past is also used to talk about historic events which happened in the past without a word indicating time. For example, Charles Darwin visited the, Galapag the Galapagos Islands. Number three. Simple past events, if simple past is used to talk about events in a narrative in their chronological order. For example, the car, the car hit a divider. The people inside escaped unhurt. Note, if we change the order of sentences, the meaning changes. Number four. Another use of simple past to talk about habits in the past. For example, when I was a child, I did not eat vegetables. Note, we can also use, use used to and would to refer to the past habits. For example, when I was a child, I used to hate vegetables. Now, let's move on to past continuous. To form a sentence with past continuous, we need was plus verb plus ing when the subject is singular. But when the subject is plural, we use were plus verb plus ing. Past continuous is, is used to talk about ongoing events at a particular time in the past. For example, children were playing in the park last evening. Past continuous is also used to talk about an ongoing background event while the focus is on another event. For example, when my, when my wife and I were going to our offices, we saw an accident. Or... When I was traveling to Mumbai, I suddenly fell ill. Number three, past continuous is also used to talk about a regular or repeated event in the past. For example, in this, for example, our neighbors were fighting day after day and finally we decided to move to another place. Please note, in this example, there are two events. The neighbors were fighting and we moved out. The first one is a background event which explains the reason for the main event. If there is only one event, it is more common to use a simple past or the phrases used to or would to refer to repeated events. For example, we would go to Shimla for our summer holidays every year. Let's move to past perfect. To make a sentence with past perfect, 
we need had plus past participle form of the verb including other parts of the sentence of course we use past perfect when we talk about more than one event in the past past perfect is used to refer to the earliest of the events for example when we reached the station the train had already left so in these two actions whatever happened first should take must take past perfect okay so what happened first the train left so put that in past perfect form by the time when we reach i mean when we reach the station yesterday the train had already left we also use past perfect to talk about experiences till a particular time in the past for example i had been to several countries in europe by 2001 number 3 we also use past perfect to talk about sorry we use it in reported speech okay in place of simple past in direct speech for example neha sneha said i did not attend any class in reported speech it would become sneha said that she had not attended any class next is past perfect continuous and here we need had plus been plus verb plus ing we use past perfect continuous to talk about events that began before a certain point of time in the past and continued up to that time for example i had been waiting nearly for an hour before the bus came now let's do task 9 identify the tense of the underlying verbs Please pause the video, do the task, and then we will discuss the answers. Number one, they went shopping last week. Simple past. Number two, when he reached the bus stop, the bus had left. Past perfect. Number three, suddenly he remembered where he had hidden the money. Past perfect. Number four, Naira was crossing the road when Susan noticed her. Past continuous. Number five, he had been working with Amazon for nearly two years before he left for the US. Past perfect continuous. Task 10, fill in the blanks using ver verbs in the correct tense. Please pause the video, do the exercise, and then we will discuss the answers. Number one. I bought a new phone last week. Two. Natasha learned to dance very quickly. Three. When we were living in Mumbai, we would visit Marine Drive every weekend. Four, when I arrived at the hall, the film had started. Five, she hadn't been talk sorry, she had been taking coaching for two years when she appeared for the GRE. I repeat, she had been taking coaching for two years when she appeared for the GRE. Now, let's look at the future, the future tense. You already know that we use the future to refer to actions or events in the future. The table overleaf gives us some ways of using the future tense. To make a sentence with future tense, we need will or shall plus verb in the base form plus the other parts of the verb or sentence okay
Note, traditionally the modal verb shall is used with I and we, whereas will is used with all other subjects. For example, we shall go to Goa next week and they will go to Goa next week. However, increasingly only will is used in all contexts to refer to future events while shall is used only in more formal contexts. For example, we shall move our business to the, U to the US next year. Now, simple future is used, simple future tense is used to talk about predictions or facts about the future. For example, Hyderabad will receive heavier rains tomorrow. It's a prediction. Or, our company will celebrate its 25th anniversary in 2020. A fact about future. Not now, since this book was written long ago. You could change the year according to the time at which you read this. Simple future tense is also used to talk about decisions about actions or events in the future. For example, out of these two shirts, I will buy the red one. Another way of talking about future is be plus going plus to. This is used to talk about predictions about future. For example, the software industry is going to suffer losses on account of the economic slowdown. Number three, the use of simple present to talk about future. Okay, it's used to talk about planned events and intentions. For example, the match starts at 11 a.m. Okay, we use simple present to talk about future. Number four. Use of present continuous to talk about future. This is used for events scheduled for the future. For example, I'm going to New Delhi next Monday. Now let's move on to future continuous. Here we need will plus have plus past participle form of the, I'm sorry, will plus be plus verb plus ing. I'm very sorry to talk about future continuous. We need will plus be plus verb plus ing. Okay, it's used to talk about ongoing events in the future. For example, at the same time next Monday, I will be writing my exams. Now let's move on to future perfect. For this we need will plus have plus past participle form of the verb. This we use to talk about events that are going to be completed by a certain time in the future. For example, by next March we will have built our new house. Now. Future perfect continuous. For this we need will plus have plus been plus verb plus ing. This form is not frequent in common usage. When it is used, it refers to events that are predicted to be continuing over a long period in the future. For example, both Rafa and Roger are strong players. When they face each other next week, the match will have been going on for hours and we will have just been waiting for it to be over. Let's do task 11. Please pause the video 
do the task and then we will come back and discuss the the answers task 11 identify the tense of the underlined verbs in these sentences it will be dark soon future simple number two by the end of the month she will have completed her fashion designing course future perfect number three my father will be waiting for me at the station future continuous number four we will not be using the computer lab for the next two years future continuous number five she will have been waiting for two hours by the time the bus arrives. Future perfect continuous. <coughs> Task 12. Fill in the blanks in these sentences using the given verbs in the correct tense. Please pause the video, do the task, then come back. We will discuss the answers. Number 1. A. We don't have wheat flour b i'll get some on my way home this evening okay i'll i will becomes i'll i'll get some on my way home this evening number two at three o'clock tomorrow i will be writing my exam number three by june next year i will have studied in this college for two years number four a are you going to the party tonight b yes don't worry i'm giving you a lift five by 10 p.m tonight i will have finished my assignment Common errors in tenses. We are on page 70. Task 13. Please pause the video, do the task, then come back and we will discuss the answers. Identify the errors in tenses in these sentences and correct them. Number 1. Last year, the football team has performed very poorly. The correct sentence is, last year, the football team performed very poorly. Number two, it is appearing that he is not satisfied with my response. Now, this is a state verb, appear is a state verb. So, it appears that he is not satisfied with my response. Number three, time and tide will wait for no man. Time and tide, wait for no man. Number four, they are looking for a new direction when the merger of the companies took place. The error is R. Instead of R, you put were. They were looking for a new direction when the merger of the companies took place. Number five, the university had declared the result by the time the students completed their internship. Number six, by this time next year, you will have completed your graduation. Number seven, he has been regretting his decision for the last two years. Number eight, the technician was testing the gadget when there was a short circuit. Number nine, every Christmas Ryan goes home and spends time with his family. Number ten, the diagram below depicts what happens when the profit margins drop drastically within a year.